the Edmactop Association developed during six years the Finwell project in the Catalan coast, in the northwestern Mediterranean, using drones as a new powerful tool to research cetaceans. In comparison with boat based observations of the whale surfacing, much more information is obtained with aerial images like movements, morphology, breath, and type behavior, among others. When the whales make deep dives, the only clue to determine feeding is the observation of defecations. This way, whales can show deep feeding when defecating at surface. Not too deep or shallow feeding could be detected by whales surfacing with the bellies fully enlarged. Removing and filtering the engulfed water while reaching the surface to breathe. Clear images are obtained when lunch feeding, then it is possible to have all the details and dynamics of this behavior. Speeding up, turning always to the right side, opening the mouth and with the inertia, filling the mouth until unbelievable extents. Depending on the light, a reddish splash due to masses of krill can be observed escaping from the whale mouth. Krill and copepods are obtained from the net samples. When swimming together, mainly when the food chain in the area is exceptionally rich, information is gathered about social behavior, size and morphological differences among individuals, and also whale identification by means of the chevron and blaze zenithal images. So far, a catalogue of 90 whales identified by drone ID has been developed. Whale morphometry is still difficult to analyze due to accurate drone aid limitations, so images with known measures as a boat could be used to achieve some relative measures. Full sequences of a whale feeding behavior can show how often they can breathe and feed. All the movements are seen as mentioned before, speeding up, turning to the right, opening the mouth and closing it while going back to the vertical position, emptying and filtering the water and breathing again. Lunch feeding has been observed only early and late during the day, coinciding with the vertical movements of the plankton. The exact location where they feed doesn't seem aleatory as they make fast circles, most of the times it's not possible to see the masses of krill, and when the plankton concentration is high, synchronism among whales are observed feeding in the same spots. Drone images are also useful to assess whale health status, nutritional condition, marks, injuries, external parasites, and physical anomalies, among other possibilities. Whales, sometimes even while feeding, get close to the research boat, a good opportunity to take a biopsy sample. Those images are a perfect and objective tool to monitorize the animal reaction and impact of these techniques. The same is possible with satellite tags, another kind of tags monitoring animals and also the deployment position. Clearly, drones play a significant key role in cetacean research.